Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi. So we are now on to Section 7. Um, if you're behind a little bit, don't worry about that because coming up in November, we're going to take a week break and have some time for catch up. Plus, I think I've blocked in enough time for hopefully you to catch up each time since there's not a lot of new stuff. Section 7 goes from October 14th, sorry this is a little late, to November 4th, um, and we're going to be working on all patterns that we've done before. We're doing square on a square, we're doing pinwheels, and um, the, some of them get bordered, and so they'll end up looking like um, something like this, like this. So it'll be something to that effect where you're adding borders around. Um, I just wanted to point out that your square on a square double bordered on page 23, um, that's going to end up being seven and a half inches. You start with a three and a half inch square on a square for in the middle. So you're going to start with something this side, okay? And then it's going to be double bordered. And then the next one that I want to make sure to point out is the square and a square pinwheel. It's on page 22. It says start with a two and a half pinwheel, two and a half inch. That's a three inch unfinished, okay? So you, you've got it. Um, with a quarter of an inch on each side. I know we've had this every time I've talked about this, but I just want to make sure everybody knows don't cut it down to two and a half because then you'll end up with it too small. So, um, strips. Um, we've been talking about um, on, on Facebook, a couple of people have been asking and talking about their strips. I'm going with a bunch of neutrals, lights, because my blocks are real busy and real dark and lots of scrappy, so I'm trying to keep mine... Um, real muted neutral so that my blocks will pop um, when we get so anyway back to seven we have um, a square and a square um, and then the last thing that I want to point out is the square and a square that's three and a half inches on page 22 make two of those and I didn't put a two there so make sure you do two of those on your schedule in section eight we're going to go on to the um, from the heart and the star block and then after that I think there's only two more unique blocks and everything else is square and square um, pinwheels bordered pinwheels things that are those filler blocks and um, so if you have time and you can sit down and just kind of knock out a bunch of square and squares at one time go ahead and do that because it'll save you time later on in, in the next sections pinwheels are the same way you can knock out a couple of pinwheels and get them done That'll be a fun thing to have done um, for your next few coming up sections. And we're on section seven, then we just have eight, nine, and ten, and then we do our strips and put it all together. A lot of people have already kind of moved ahead, which is great. There's no schedule that you have to stick to. We just did this as a test to see how um, the quilt alongs go and how it works for all of us to work together. Um, helping each other out, cheering each other on, and getting us uh, through the process. So hopefully everybody will get their square to squares and pinwheels and bordered and all that um, courthouse steps done for section seven. And we'll move on to section eight with our two unique blocks um, from the heart and star block. That was a, kind of an easier section just because there's just a square and a square and a square to square courthouse steps. Um, and in section nine, we have Hope from Hartford, Old Mayo Made Puzzle. And then one more puts in the corner with section 10, and the rest are just pinwheels in, square instead of square. So I recommend if you have some extra time, starting to cut some strips um, with your, and they're skinny, they're, you know, 
two inch, they're one and a half inch, they're not very, um, they're not your standard two and a half inch strips that you usually get in a charm pack, not charm pack, in a, um, a, a strip kit. Um, but then there are a lot of different lengths, like 16 and a half, 10 and a half. So, um, but it's all laid out for you, so hopefully it's easy to follow and you can get those started. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. 